Hey folks, hello and welcome to the Divi Machine video documentation. My name is Roby and today I'll be showing you a little bit more about the search post module in our plugin Divi Machine. Now you'll find other great Divi Machine resources on our documentation site at help.diviengine.com, which will also be linked in the description of this video. If you get stuck with more complex challenges, definitely feel free to reach out to our amazing support team and they'll be sure to help you find a solution. Now also before we get started, let's make sure that we're updated to the latest versions of Divi Machine, the Divi Theme, and WordPress. Now with that all sorted, let's jump right into it. Okay, so after creating a post type, custom fields related to that post type, and our very first post, which was a car, we're ready to start building out the front end of our dynamic Divi website. And as I've said in the video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use the search post module on the front end of the site. First, we're going to go to pages here on the left hand side and select add new page. Once inside, we're going to need to select the search post module. For this page, I'm just going to name it whatever new page works for me, but you can name it anything like home, products or anything else that would make sense to your customers. Now inside of this search post module that we added, you'll notice three main areas that we'll need to edit in this module. They are the main options, add new search item or items, and then thirdly, the design. Let's look a little bit more deeper into these three. Okay, so for the post type, you're in the main options. We need to select the post type that we already created in the previous steps. In this tutorial, it is cars since I'm building a car listing website. For you, it could be homes or books, or whatever you choose or what the purpose of your site might be. For the search button text, I can decide what I would like to be displayed right here. It could be a search or a submit or a lookup, whatever you feel works, but for this purpose, I'm going to stick to search. Okay, so next up, we've got three more options. Do you want the button to be inline or not? Do you want the search results to open up in a new tab? Or do you want to submit to the archive page? I don't want any of these, so I'm not gonna activate any of them because I want my search results to open up in the current tab. I want my search button to be below the search items and I do not want to submit to the archive page. Okay, so now I need to add the search items and start building out the functionality for the search on our website. I could add one, I could add 10. The choice is really mine here. For this video, we'll only add one by clicking on the button here. Since I don't wanna waste your time by doing this over and over, hopefully this will give you a good base so you can customize it to what you need for your site. The process, of course, is the same for each searchable item. Now the first field here is the admin filter name. This is here for me to describe what the search item is for. This name's only for me, so our clients won't be seeing that on the front end of our site. Also, now remember that in the previous videos, we added custom fields to the car's post type. One of them was make, and we gave the make three options, BMW, Audi, and VW. I want the search item to be the make, so I'll type make as my admin filter name. Next up, I need to tell the search item where to search for these items. I have five options, and the one I choose depends on where the information is found. If my options are in the categories that I have made, then I select the category option. In this case, I've added the make options in the advanced custom fields plugin, so I'm gonna select this option. I now need to select the post type, which is cars. Now also remember that as you add more and more post types to your site, and as this list will grow, you'll need to, for example, maybe add something for car parts if you wanna extend your car listing website that way. So since I told Divi Machine to look in the advanced custom fields for the information, I now need to tell Divi Machine which field we're looking for. I select make dash cars because this is the search item for the make in the cars post type that we created earlier. I choose the filter type to be select. I do this because in advanced custom fields, the filter type I gave to this field is the select type. I want the search item filter to be 100% of the module. So I select full four slash four. I could select another size, but this is not what I'm going for with this particular site. You can play around with it and see what works best for you. 
Okay, so now that we've already set up the module, we need to start thinking about the design. So the functionality part is done. Now we need to make it look pretty. Divi and Divi Engine offers you some awesome design capabilities. You can always add in your own CSS, but for this, we'll just stick to the design tab. Now for design, I only add the design to the whole element, not to each individual item as you see them here on the screen. If you had maybe two or three or four, you can style them individually so that they look a little bit different, but we're gonna go for some uniformity. So we'll just stick to the design tab on the main module. Now for the design settings here, we're gonna set the field color to black. We'll change the field focus text color also to black. For our field padding, we're gonna do 20 pixels all around. So that's 20 for the top, bottom, left, and right. Our item text color, again, black. Now for the button background color, you guessed it, black again. But we're gonna change the text color here to be white. The button border radius to give it a little bit of rounding will set at five pixels and we'll set the color for that border to black. And then lastly, the button box shadow, we'll just select the first option right here. Okay, now the last setting we're gonna be adding here is changing the row to two columns with the left column being smaller. After updating my page, we can take a look at it on the front end. You'll see that we've got the one column on the left that is shorter than the column on the right. In the column, I have one search item, which is make with three choices in the dropdown, BMW, Audi, and VW. When I click VW and search, one car pops up. This is the one car that we created in the earlier steps. And remember that we're gonna need to be adding a lot more posts containing the information for each custom field to complete the website. And that's that folks. I really hope that this video helped you better understand how to utilize the Divi search post module for Divi machine. And again, if this video did not cover exactly what you were looking for, definitely check out our documentation at help.diviengine.com for more text and videos, which will help you master Divi machine. As always, definitely contact our incredible support team with more complex challenges that might come up and they will do their best to help you out and get you going. And with that, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.